some tips which will ensure that you're always above and never beneath. So listen very carefully, this is going to be something which is going to do marvels in your life. Now we are living in a world which is full of problems. Everywhere you turn, you see problems. But at the same time, if you want to be always a winner, you should not forget the plan of God in your life. God's got amazing plans. Do you know, I've been speaking about this again and again. And I've been telling you that God created you because of His so great love. His so great love created you and placed you in this world so that you may experience that so great love. And that's why God has got a mighty plan for you in this world, irrespective of what kind of pressure, irrespective of what kind of force is coming against you. God wants you to be a winner all the time. Say, I'm going to be a winner all the time because that's God's plan for you. You cannot be a loser. How can somebody with whom God is be a loser? But at the same time, the secret is, I will show you a particular verse. Just take that verse and it will be a blessing for you. In 1 Chronicles chapter 11 verse 9, the Bible says, So David waxed greater and greater, for the Lord of hosts was with him. That's an amazing scripture. Listen to that. The Bible says, David, a man like you and me, he began to become greater and greater. Now what was the secret? The Lord of hosts was with him. Now today, child of God, you have to understand, God doesn't want you to be alone. He knows it's too dangerous for his children to be alone. And especially those who he has got a victory plan. Because I told you, you have been created so that you may experience the great goodness of God and that he may be a winner all the time. And such people God cannot afford to allow them to live alone. And that's why he wants to be with you always. He wanted David to be a success in society, wherever he went. He wanted David to increase. And that's why he was with David. When we turn to Genesis chapter 39 and verse 2, the Bible says, And the Lord was with Joseph, and Joseph was a prosperous man. Look at that term. Joseph was a prosperous man. But where was he? And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. Actually, the status of Joseph was a slave because he was purchased as a slave for money. But though his status was a slave, the Bible says, in the midst of slavery, he was prosperous. Now that's an amazing term. Look at that. Not in the midst of liberty. In the midst of slavery, Joseph was a prosperous man. In other words, he was a success. And the reason was the Lord was with Joseph. Now look at what happened, verse 3. And his master saw, look at this. The master of Joseph, who was a slave, saw that the Lord was with Joseph and that the Lord made all that Joseph did to prosper in the hand of Joseph. Now that is something amazing. You know, when God is with you, he will make unbelievers see that he is with you. And when unbelievers see that God is with you, they, you will find favor in the sight of unbelievers. We find that Joseph found favor in the sight of his master and the master made him head over all that he had. See, in the midst of slavery, there's a double, triple promotion for Joseph. Now the same God is alive and just like how he lifted up Joseph, how he was with Joseph, he wants to be with you and he's going to do great things in your life. He's going to lift you up in your office, wherever you are, you're going to see his power the might of God is going to do great things in your life. And remember, this word is not only for you, but for your children. I'm going to give you a particular scripture, which I want you to keep on thinking again and again, because this is not my plan. This is not a fable. This is not a story. This is the plan of the Almighty God. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 13, and look at what the Bible says concerning his people. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. Now look at that. The Lord shall make thee. I want you to take that verse. The Lord shall make thee. Who shall make thee? The Lord who has got the ability to lift anybody and set him on high. The Lord who is powerful. The Lord who raises up king, bringeth down kings. The same Lord shall make thee, what? The head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only and thou shalt not be beneath. Now that's an amazing verse. In other words, God is promising you 
that if you're going to hearken to his commandments and listen to his voice and do the things that are pleasing in his sight and live a life pleasing to God, God is saying, I will make you the head. Wherever you are, you will be the head. You will never be the tail. You will be above. You will never be beneath. Now, you have to understand that God doesn't move based on our resources, based on our ability, based on our status, based on who we know, based on our natural talents. God moves based on his power. Just like how you could lift up Joseph from the prison and put him next to Pharaoh. That's an amazing act. I don't think anybody can achieve such a position from prison as a criminal because he was put in prison according to the laws of that land. 44 had put him in prison because he had committed a crime in the sight of 44. But actually from prison he was lifted up next to Pharaoh. She became a ruler. That's something amazing. And this is an act which only God can do and he will do it for his beloved people who are willing to trust in him, who are willing to understand him, willing to walk in his favor. So today please understand that God has called you to walk in his favor and the light of the Lord is shining upon you, the favor of the Lord is shining for you and you are living today so that you may be a great blessing not only to yourself but to society. That is why in the last days, we have to catch hold of the word of God. We have to ensure that the Lord is with us at all times. And he will be with you at all times. Have no doubt about it. Don't look at your problems. Don't look at your circumstances. The Bible says, just shall live by faith. Therefore, there should be no thoughts of fear, worry, depression, doubts in your mind when you see that problem. Remember, that problem is coming so that you may be more than a conqueror. That problem is staring at you so that it may be trampled by the power of God which is inside you, through you. And you will be a great blessing. You have been destined to reign. You have been destined to conquer. And your children are going to be a great blessing. Your family is going to be a great blessing. God's got great plans for each and every one of you. Everyone is going to see God's amazing power, amazing goodness. Remember one thing. Prepare for eternity let your focus be on eternity alone. Let your eyes be on eternity and God will do what he has promised and you will be a great blessing in the days to come. May God bless you.